Hello, and um, this is Inga Kimberly Brown. I want to teach you how to create a color wheel. So I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure out seven inches, leaving one inch at the bottom just for uh, like a, a little bit of cropping and placement. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to measure it out seven inches leaving one inch at the bottom. So the square, it's going to be seven inches all around. I'm just going to go in and make sure that everything is true and nice so I have a nice little square going on. Now I'm going to make a diagonal line to my corners. I want you to notice that. Right? So I'm, I'm almost like I'm creating a circle in the square that the square is just wanting to bust loose, right? Now I'm actually going to draw the circle completely right through the lines of the square, bring out that circle, let it bust loose a little bit, and then bring that circle right out. And I'm just going to ignore the lines that I made in the square, okay? This allows me to make an honest circle. Now I'm gonna do it across within the circle. I think I want six, so I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna, I need two more of these sort of slices. So I'm gonna make another line just to create that extra, yeah, slice. But I do want to sort of even it out a bit. Although a lot of these lines won't make any difference once we have, we start to add paint. I don't believe in mistakes. Um, I believe that it's just another opportunity to solve something, S especially as artists. Um, there's the organized mind and constantly organizing and problem solving is art, is making art. Right, so I'm gonna put in my primary colors yellow and then I'm going to put in of course um, the secondary colors because I already I'm jumping ahead of the game red primary blue primary and we're going to do a okay so I'm going to do blue over here and we're going to do a green okay so I have my primaries that are yellow, red, and blue, right? And then my secondaries, which are orange, green, and violet. Why? Because, exactly, yellow and red make orange. And then we have, exactly, yellow and blue make green. And then there's blue and red make violet. Okay? That's my palette. 
and I'm just putting my primary colors down. When you're using oil paints, there may be a consideration of using just a tinge of titanium white with your ultramarine blue and your cadmium reds and your cadmium yellows just to use it as a binder. But if you are using acrylic, as I, you know, suggested that you use, you'll be using only water. You will not need linseed oil or Gamsol to loosen up your oil paint or clean your brush. Just water. Now I'm going to put my yellow, that my primary colors go first on my color wheel. Here's my yellow and it's oil paint, you know, a little bit, you know, it's a little uh, dirty yellow, but you know, I'm going to make it nice and clean by using my linseed oil to loosen it up a bit, get my nice yellow into my slice. And it's just really great to just be able to mix your own colors, know your primary colors, and then go further. So I have my yellow out. Just going to get that down. Okay. Right, right. And as it dries, I can always go over it with the brighter yellow and a brighter yellow. But right now, we know it as our yellow. Going to go for my next color. Got to clean my brush just a little bit. And get in there with some red. Yeah. And I created these little spaces to like kind of do my... Um, combination, you know, uh, totals, I guess you could say, like what equals what, you know, this is my red right in there. Right. Easy breezy. Just get that red in there. And, and you can see that the lines that I created really don't make any, any um, difference. You know, I painted over most of the line work anyway. I'm even painting over where I put the names of what colors should go where. Painted right over the label red. Going to go right into blue. I have my ultramarine blue. I believe this is my French ultramarine blue. And you can get these colors in acrylic. So there's no a fear of not being able to get color. So here we have it. Nice ultramarine blue. Got my primaries on my color wheel. Let's have a nice soft brush to work in. I'm working on oil on paper, watercolor paper at that. Um, and, I, and I chose it because I didn't feel like going into doing this with uh, a canvas. It's, it's unnecessary. You can use paper. And watercolor paper is great. You know, it's going to hold, um, you know, especially with uh, any kind of acrylic or oil paint it's it's thick enough that it will lay right nicely on that on that here we go um let me get in here and give you my green so yellow and blue make green and that's exactly what i'm putting in i think that's a really nice sap green here and you can see that nice if i wanted to make it darker blue or like have more darker green inside i would add a a little bit more blue to my mix of yellow and blue if I wanted it a lighter color of green I would add in more yellow and if I wanted a pale I would add probably a white but we're not using white we're using only our primary colors nice I love that green 
It's great green, sap green. Looks like a nice sap green. And I said, again, if I wanted to make this green, darker green, all I had to do is add a little bit more blue. I'm going to clean off my brush. Oftentimes when I'm painting, I will clean my brush with linseed oil. And this is a way of not ruining or taking out, like making the brush so dry that it starts to lose its bristles. But Gamsol is great. Now let's go right into our orange. Mixing yellow and red, making my orange. I'm bringing in my secondary color, orange now. My first secondary color was green. Anytime you can mix two primaries, you will get a secondary. Your tertiaries are, are a little bit more of breaking even your secondaries up into different variations of color. And some of that can be done by adding more of the primaries. When the colors, now yes, let's get right into our, our last. I'm gonna go right for my violet. And so blue and red make violet or purple. Now, I wanna talk about adding in that color and, and making it happen, that red and blue. You're gonna go for whatever purple you like best when it comes to that. But if look at that, it just comes on so beautiful. That's a great purple. I feel like it's a medium of red and blue. And that's what my uh, objective is, is to get the mix of the two. Okay. Yeah. Concluding my color wheel. Yeah, that blue is in there. You can see the red and the blue. You know, you can just see it. Yeah. Purple or violet, as I would say. Color wheels are, wheels are great. They help you uh, with ease make color, learn what colors are, are compatible. So... The interesting thing, so, and speaking about compatibility, this is color wheel. This is as, far as, I really as we look at the tell. green um, opposite the orange, the those are the contrasts. Those are called complementary colors. The so they the have colors. none of the two ingredients that make each this. color, this is your color inside wheel. of either one. You know, these so are just with the orange, well, orange actually, wait a minute. So I think it would be better said Actually, orange has yellow and red, and the green has yellow and blue. So that wouldn't be complementary. Complementary would be, for instance, not only our primaries, but let's say orange opposite blue. Perfect. They're complementary because they don't share anything at all. So it, it, it gets really quite 